Hello, fifth graders. This is Mrs. McSurley coming up to you upside down. Izzy, you want to say hi? <laughs> and Izzy coming to you upside down. Let's get you right side up. Oh, right. Now you're right side up. You can see clearly now. Wait for it. Wait for it. There you go. I need you to take out your red folder and open up to your pink notes. We are on the side that says decimal place value positions. Now, I know we have already done this in class. This is a review for you because I told you this is the, one of the most difficult things I teach all year. So we're going to do a quick review. So please follow along with me. If at any time you need extra time to process, pause, play it back, do what you need to do. Okay. So it says blank is 10 times as much. If something is 10 times as much, that means it's going to be greater. It's bigger. It's like saying I'm taking something and boom, 10 times as much, 100 times as much, 1,000 times as much, boom, it's getting bigger. So that means, think of it like a scale. If this is greater, then this number must be smaller, okay? So my tip to you is use some scrap paper today on your lesson check or your IXL that you're doing, and I will write the original number, 0 .08 or 8 hundredths. Technically, this is 8 out of 100. I want this blank to be greater because blank is 10 times as much than 8 hundredths. So because 10, let me get my little here, because 10 has one zero in it, I'm going to be moving my decimal over one time. Okay, now let's look at this. If we want this number to be bigger, would I move it to the right and make it 8 tenths? Is 8 tenths bigger? Or would I move it to the left, which would make it 8 thousandths? Well, I would move it to the right to make it 8 tenths. So now 8 tenths is greater. Okay? If we look at the example underneath, it's the exact same thinking, except this time it's 100 times as much. So I am still wanting this to be greater, and I still want this to be smaller, but this time I'm going to move my decimal twice. So I go 1, 2, which makes it 8 holes. Okay, let's go ahead and look at these bottoms as a review. So if something is a fraction, that's like saying this is one-tenth less of. So something is a fraction it is going to be smaller, and this number is going to be bigger or larger. So if I have 0 .6, and it always helps me to write the number, I want this blank to be smaller. So if I move it to the right, now I have six holes. Well, that's not smaller. That's bigger. So instead, I want to move it one place to the left. Well, now I have no digit here. So remember how I told you we're going to lay eggs? Here's my carton. I'm going to lay an egg in my carton. And now my answer is 0 .08, or that's really six hundredths which is smaller than what this was, which was 6 tenths. Okay, the next one is going to be exactly the same, except now I have two zeros, so I'm moving two place values, so I have 0 0.6. I still want this to be smaller because it's a fraction of it, but this time it's not 1 tenth, it's 1 one hundredth. So I'm not going to move it to the right, because if I move it to the right, I have six holes, which is not smaller. I'm going to go two. So one, two, put my decimal. Now I have two egg cartons. I need to lay two eggs. Buck, 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 buck. Two eggs. Izzy's giving me a weird look. Okay, so point zero zero six, which is six thousandths, and that's smaller. Okay, so that is your review. Use your notes to help you and guide you. Feel free to go over to the counter and grab scrap paper. Again, constantly asking yourself, am I looking for a number that is smaller or bigger? And if it helps you to write it out, okay, do not rush, process,
think about it, if it helps you to write that decimal as a fraction, so you can say, did I do a good job? Because I'd rather have something split in 10 pieces, that's bigger than something split into 100 pieces, right? I'd rather have six slices of pizza where a pizza split into 10 versus if I'm stupid <laughs> and I split a pizza into 100 pieces, well, that's idiotic. Six little tiny baby pieces of 100 pieces ain't nothing. I'd rather have six tenths, all right? So you, I believe, are hopping into an IXL, unless you were just here to get notes. This is hard. Take your time. You can do it.